Hi guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I have something super exclusive and exciting to share with you. This is the first component that you can use to merge things on the female character that I know of that has been found. This was found by, of course, GTAT. I love her. We did lots of testing with this and found some really cool, exciting things for the female character. This is gonna be a long video. If all you need to know how to do is just find out what component it is, check the list or watch the video I'll show you but for those of you that are new to merging or just want a little recap or want to see everything that you can merge with this and why it's important or why it's special watch the whole video if you're just looking for the merge component I'm gonna show that in just a second but what this merge component allows you to do is it allows you to merge chains necklaces scarves handcuffs you can merge ties you can merge suspenders pretty much anything that acts as a necklace on the female character is what you can use to merge the only item that i could not get to merge with this were those like little scarves that you can wear with the overcoats and only the overcoats that was the only item that i could not get to work with this merge component but for everything else like i said the red suspenders you can now merge handcuffs with other checkered items or other outfits things like that you can merge the any tie with any top it's really really exciting and it looks really cool i know i've always wanted to put a scarf with the checkered outfit but there aren't components for it so there was just no way to do it so without further ado let's just hop into the first part of this video and the merge component for the scarves on the male character is going to be the gold magnetics chain so you can again use any top that you can put this gold magnetics chain with is what you can merge whatever scarf or necklace or tie onto so for instance if you're doing a checkered outfit and you wanted to wear let's say a scarf with it you would set up your outfit with the checkered components on the male character i'm just going to show you this first outfit here every other outfit that i show you i'm going to actually just put the components in the description and then at the end i'll show you me just testing things merging things together and all of that good stuff so what i'm going to do for this first outfit is i'm going to make a checkered outfit that has the checkered tank top which is the black tank top on the male the white joggers which is the tan striped boxer shorts on the male and then some checkered sneakers which are the gray slip on smart shoes on the male I'm going to add some black woolen gloves to get some black gloves with this and then I'm going to add the gold magnetics chain which is the merge component from male to female which allows you to merge scarves it allows you to merge again handcuffs all of that good stuff you cannot normally put together with some outfits especially things like checkered outfits or things with components that you can't normally change you know all that good stuff so once you do have this outfit saved in order to merge what you need to do is save this either under slot 1 or slot 20 it depends on how many merge outfits you're doing here I'm actually going to do four total so for this one I'm going to save the merge component under outfit slot number one and then what you're also going to see me do here is I'm going to save this same exact outfit under slot number two the reason for this is I want to have an idea as I'm going through these different outfits that I'm making and testing the merging on what I need to put together on my female character then to merge with this outfit. And I'll explain that more later in the video. So I'm just doing one as merge and then two I'm just going to put, I'm going to call it scarf. So when you do transfer merge outfits back over to whatever character you're merging on, you will not be able to click on that outfit. And the reason for that is the merge component ends up being technically an invisible component. So when you do get over to the, the female or the male character, depending on how you're merging this stuff, you will have to just scroll to make sure you have at least the saved outfits there and then s and merge and save after you get into Crooked Cop and a mission. So again, I'm not going to run through every single outfit that I'm creating here. Otherwise, this video was going to be 30 minutes long. But what I will do is I'll show you each component and each kind of thing that I'm merging together in the description just so you have a general idea. But the most important thing, the thing that everybody probably just really cares about is having this gold magnetics chain on the male character which is the merge component that allows you to merge scarves handcuffs everything that acts as a necklace which the handcuffs do on the female character so i'm just going to show you here at the desk of the clothing store the couple of items that i do have put together and then we're going to run through what i'm merging and what i'm going to show you back on the female character 
So the first outfit again is a checkered outfit and then I was going to merge together a scarf with this checkered outfit. So I have slot one saved as with the merge components. Slot two has, you know, it says scarf. And then for three, I'm going to merge together the red suspenders with the red biker suit pants. I've got that saved under three. Four was, I believe, the tie. I'm going to merge together with some joggers and a tank top. And then the last outfit that I'm going to show you is going to be the biker suit belt with red joggers. And I'm going to merge together handcuffs on that outfit. So the biker suit belt with handcuffs, which you cannot normally do or put together. So the way I have these outfits set up here is I'm just doing one merge and then two is going to be the item that I'm going to merge together with it. So the reason I laid this out like this is so when I get back on the female character, I can show you just examples of each outfit and how I'm merging them and the different examples of items that you can merge. You can also then use this to merge like any necklace or any scarf or, you know, any chain or anything with the outfits that you can't normally put them with. The main thing to keep in mind here as well is that this only works with tops, obviously, that you can put this necklace with, which it does not go with all tops. So keep that in mind when you're trying and testing things out. So after you do whatever transfer glitch is available for these components, if you're looking for that, check the description. You should load back into your female character now, and you'll be able to just, you know, save whatever your current outfit was, which I always suggest doing just in case you don't want to lose that outfit. And then you can see here that all the items did transfer over to my female character so as I told you some of them especially the ones that say merge are not going to be clickable but the ones like the handcuffs I can click this checkered item I could click these are just outfits that were just straight components nothing merge nothing super crazy on it so if you're used to merging you know what the next step is if you're new to merging and just want to see examples of this stick around this is a a long part of the video but I am going to show you everything here so what we're going to do first is we're going to set up the outfits with the items that we want to merge so for the Scarf, you're just going to save an outfit with a scarf on slot number two if you're merging together the scarf with number one. And then for the next outfit, we're going to be merging together the suspenders with a tank top and then the biker suit pants. So you're just going to put on the suspenders, which you can only wear with this blouse, and save it under the slot to merge together with the item that has the component that you want to put the suspenders with. And then for the next item, we are going to merge together just a random tie. I just chose any pink tie. We're going to merge that together with a, a jacket, like a, a hoodie jacket, and it's going to have like pink joggers and like a cool little thing on the outfit. So once you have whatever tie you want selected, you can then just add that save it and then we're going to go to the next thing so for the next item we're actually going to be merging together a random necklace um, one of the tassel necklaces that i don't believe i have a component for on the list because i could just never find it i'm going to merge that together with a bikini top so you're just going to go and put on the sweater which is the or the turtleneck sweater which is the only thing you can wear the tassel necklaces with and then you're going to just save that in the slot that you want it to merge you know together the merge component with and then the next thing I'm going to show you is going to be handcuffs. So the handcuffs was something that we don't, we can't just normally put on in the female character. So what I did is I transferred an outfit from the male character that had components on it over to the female character. So that one's already saved. You don't need to save anything else on that to merge it together. So we're doing, again, we're doing a scarf with the checkered item. We are doing red suspenders with the biker suit pants. We are doing a tie with a random, like a random tie that I don't have a component for with a hoodie or a, a jacket. We are doing the tassel necklace with a bikini top. And then we are going to be doing the handcuffs with the biker suit belt and joggers and all that good stuff. So in order to merge, what you need to do is you need to start up a job of Crooked Cop. So Crooked Cop is a versus job under Rockstar Created Jobs, and you need to set this to player-owned clothing. Make sure you are doing that. If you need a tip on how to host this job instead of always joining random peoples, just go into online options, turn your matchmaking to closed. It'll allow you to be the host in the job, or if you just want to spawn in random peoples, that works too. So under clothing, again, player-owned clothing, hit confirm settings, and you need at least one person to do this with you. It doesn't really matter who does it with you as long as they're not going to leave because you do need them to stay in the mission at least until you get the outfits merged. So once you have a person in here, hit play. When you get into the screen that has the outfit selection screen, you're going to scroll down. What you're doing is you're merging the outfit after the merge component into the outfit with the merge component. 
So for that to make more sense to you, what we're doing is we're merging outfit two into slot one, four into three, five, or sorry, six into five, and then eight into seven. Hopefully that makes sense. But I'm just gonna show you here. So right now you see the scarf with the checkered item. You'll see the red suspenders with these biker suit pants. You'll see the tie together with the hoodie here. And then you're gonna see the necklace with the bikini top. And then once you do have all this or whatever outfit you have merged together, what you can do is just hit ready to play or just wait for the job to open up. So wh what you're gonna do when you get into Crooked Cop is you're going to go in your interaction menu, go to style, go to accessories, gear, and then put on a rebreather. I suggest doing the rebreather, but you can really add any hat, any mask, whatever you want. Obviously, if you're doing checkered items or things that might glitch away, the rebreather is the way to go. Once you have this on and select it, you just want to quit the job through your phone, and then you're going to load back into GTA Online, and you can go and save this outfit. Just to give you another quick example of all the items that I did transfer over because I didn't show it in the first clip, I'm just going to go back into Crooked Cop and I'm just, I have these red suspenders on now. So just to give you an example, you can merge the red suspenders with items. Again, you can merge all these other accessories with these items here as well. And then the last outfit that I did want to show you was this outfit here. Um, I was just going to do a scarf or suspenders or handcuffs with that because you can't normally wear the handcuffs with that with the checkered items or the handcuffs with the racing suit belt here. So I hope you guys are really excited about this. I know I'm super excited. I don't know. I just love being able to merge stuff on the female character. Obviously, there has been so many components that have been tested and tried but this was just a random fluke by T. She just happened to find this and it worked. So this encourages me a little bit to put more time and effort into maybe finding more components from the male character that allow you to merge stuff on your female character. But so far, this is the only item that I do have. So if you're doing some research, have fun with it. At least we know that we can actually merge on the female character it was always believed that we just could not merge for the female character i always said you couldn't i never had a chance or an opportunity or any you know anything that happened that allowed me to actually merge on the female character so this is exciting so i hope you guys like this video if you have any questions obviously leave them in the comments i will do my best to answer I'm really really busy right now so i'm getting out as many videos as i can this week as some of you already know but check the description for the important information as far as the components for each outfit that you did see here and then also just the way that i set up the outfits and how i was merging or what i was actually merging into them and i'll leave little notes like if i had to have the component on the male character or if i just saved it on the female character and then merged it that way as well i'll also be updating the component list when this video gets released that way there's just a little more information for people haven't had a lot of time to spend on updating them but just make sure you check the description for those too but thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel i really appreciate it please drop a like please subscribe and i'll see you soon with more glitch videos